Hi, I'm Mr. Oaks, and today's Alex topic is word problem involving U.S. customary length conversions using dimensional analysis. Now, this is something that you're going to see a lot in your science classes, and it's a really good way to figure things out um, when you have to convert between a lot of different stuff. So, what we have here is basically this. As part of an annual fundraiser to help raise money for diabetes research, Melissa joined the bike -a -thon. The track she biked on was 1,920 yards long. 1,920 yards long, okay. And she biked 38.5 laps. Her sponsors agreed to donate an amount of money for each mile she biked. How many miles did she bike? Okay, so we need to know how many miles. The trouble is they give us yards and they tell us that the, the laps are, you know, that certain amount of yards. And they tell us how many total laps that she biked, but we need to turn those yards into miles. And this is the way dimensional analysis works. <clears throat> they want us to take all these ratios that we see right here, all of those, and put them into a box down here. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we know that um, the, the best way to do this is looking at the units. You see we have laps up here. So I know I need to get rid of laps. So to get rid of laps, I need to put laps in the denominator. So to change these laps into yards, I can use this one right here. Laps into yards. So I will have 38.5 over 1 laps times there's 1920 yards in each lap. Now, I don't want yards, I want to eventually get to miles, and I'm not sure how many yards are in a mile, but I know that there's three feet in each yard, so I can get rid of my yards by putting yards on the bottom and feet on the top. There are three feet for every yard, and then I want to turn feet into miles which means I want to get rid of the feet by putting it in the denominator, and I'm going to put miles in the numerator. And this is great because, as you look at this, these laps, if you just look at the units, the laps cancel with those laps. These yards are going to cancel with these yards. These feet will cancel with these feet, and I'm going to be left with miles. i got to figure out how many. I forgot. There's um, <clears throat> 5,280 feet in one mile. So now all I have to do is use the... the Alex calculator over there and check it out plug these in and if I multiply 38.5 times 1920 times 3 and then divide all of that by 5280 I'm gonna get my answer of 42 miles so that's kind of a tricky one but if we go back up here then the three feet that's gonna go in there and we're going to have one mile and the 5,280 feet goes into this box. And then we'll get our final answer, which we have to figure out, which is that one right there. Hope that helps.